Hey everybody, today we're going to start working on the All Quiet on the Martian Front Dominator. As you can see, I have it primed black, and we are going to use the Vallejo Air Model Black to uh, spray this to give it a nice uh, black metallic finish. I found my camera doesn't really pick up well so uh, showing this. So I'm, I'm just zooming ahead and showing you kind of as we add the black layers on all over the place. Um, you can kind of see that it's shining up a little bit, but it's really kind of hard to, to see. I'm zooming through this, and we will be back as soon as it's done. Okay, there we go. We have a black metallic finish on the Dominator, and we're ready for the next step. Okay, what I'm trying to show here is basically the Dominator and a regular tripod and something that is just base coated black. And in this case, it's a, a Necrosphinx. And you can kind of see that it's, uh, um, you can see the shade differences, but I do think that this Dominator is just a little bit too black. And so I'm going to take a little bit of lead belcher and just give a fine spray of lead belcher over top of the Vallejo black metal and that will lighten it up a little bit. So here we go, we're just going to zoom through adding the lead belcher on and be back after that step is completed. Okay, we're back and it's time to add some highlights to the Martian Dominator. Put the box out here to try and show what we're going for. We're going to highlight the rocket launcher around the eye and add some missile uh, heat ray. Uh, highlights as well. So I am going to start off with uh, just Iron Breaker. That's it's a little bit lighter than the Lead Belcher. A little bit on our palette. Thin it up a bit, as always. And we're just going to go over the. Start with the uh, missile launcher. Okay, we're going to move to the we're going to move to around the eye Try and give this an edge highlight.
Then we're going to come back and wash this black. Try and get back in those crevices so you don't have to worry about getting all the way down in there. And we're going to get the heat rays here. Okay, there's some vents that are down here that we're going to try and hit and highlight. But we're going to change and start highlighting with a little bit brighter color. And I'm going to use Stormhost Silver for this. Storm Host Silver highlights. Just trying to hit every little uh, raised edge. And then we'll repeat the same on this side. Highlighting this edge on the front. Hopefully you guys the camera is going to pick that up. It's very subtle Brilliance So I broke the leg which we'll have to glue back on. That's what I get for moving it around too much. But it's a minor disaster, nothing, nothing too serious. Let's see, what else are we missing? Probably missing a spot here. Now with the storm host, we are going to try and go hit some of the the edges up here around the highlight some of these um, pieces edges
nicked a little bit more there than I wanted. We'll go wash that out when we can. All right, so there we go. We have it uh, when this dries. I'm going to try and hit up here with a little more storm hose to try and brighten this area up. Looks like it's dry, so I'm going ahead and to do it here. Okay, while well, I had the leg off before I glued it on, I went ahead and added some some edge highlighting here, here, on the edges there, and just kind of the side of the brush. Uh, here, here, and, and here. So um, I will do that on the other legs as well, but it was a little easier with the leg off, as you can see, and we're going to go ahead and fill this in with the bronze. Okay, we've got him back together. He's looking pretty good. we got some highlights all around. Hopefully the camera will pick up the silver highlights. And you can see... Um, so our next step is we're going to add a little bit of copper to the wires that are exposed. And we're just using the, what is this called, hashet copper. Again, there's not a lot of copper to paint here. And what we hit is probably going to pop like this. Probably going to pop pretty good. There's a wire there. There's a wire here. Same on the other side. I'm going to go back and clean those up to make sure that they're good. They got a wire here wire here that we're going to get. So that's basically the copper areas. I'm going to clean these up a little bit off camera, give them a second coat, and we'll get back. Okay, I got the leg back on. We got the edges highlighted with copper here, here, a little bit on that uh, uh, wire and a little bit there. So, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good. Um, probably could see that mistake that I did there. And uh, so now we're just going to do a little bit of work on the heat ray. Oh, I should point out, I did a little bit of copper here. I always get that on each side of the heat ray. And we're back. We've got some Mephiston Red on the heat rays. And now we're going to add just a touch of Evil Sun Scarlet at the tip of it, kind of give it a glow effect. Okay. Next we need to do some uh, gnome oil. Kind of a step I had forgotten from earlier. Um, and we're just going to add a little bit of null oil onto the arm, into uh, the arms here. Just try and blacken up the, the interior there just a little bit. Okay. And finally, we're going to do the bronze pieces. And so for the bronze, we're going to add bronze. It's easier to see it on the back here. Just each of the legs here and into this area. In the past, I've done bronze faces on the, uh, 
on the tripods. I'll even bring one out here. You can see it. Um, I don't think that that's going to look good on this Dominator though, because there's so much activity in, in his area, in his face there. So for bronze, I'm just using a, a model Vallejo bronze. And this is inset a little bit, so it's just really easy to to hit and not necessarily go into any any grooves or anything. I think the hardest thing is to paint and not have my hand in the way. I can see a spot here where I, I fudged up earlier. I'm going to have to go back and hit a bit of a lead belcher or onto that. So a little bit of bronze on the tentacles in the two spots. So just uh, when it's with the rest of the arm, it'll it'll kind of look all the same, a little bit closer to everything else. Finally, I just need to do a little bit of touch up. Um, got the model black metal air, and we're just going to hit these spots that, I, that I've that kind of double hit on before. Just kind of try and blend some of that stuff away that I've messed up. So we're almost completely done. All I've got to do is is the eye. Now this guy, I think I am just going to try with a bright red eye instead of the three color eye, um, and go from there. So um, again, we're just going to put uh, we're going to put the Mephiston red onto the eye. So there you go. This is the Dominator, and uh, looks all all done here. And uh, I hope that you've enjoyed this and found it useful. Thanks. Yeah.